ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joining us now and kind of a tough start to start off for Wall Street this you week. You can underline that tough, make it very tough. It was not a pretty day out there, not at all. For those of you who might be movie buffs, perhaps you remember the 1967 Western, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Well, the bad I certainly saw. Every index that we follow on a regular basis was down by at least 1.3% for the day. The ugly was the fact that we, the Dow was down by 493 points at the low of the day. And if there was a good, we rallied 158 points from that low number. But call it what you will. It was ugly. Let's take a look at the closing numbers. The Dow Jones Industrial Average down 335 points, 1.35 percent, closing at 24,610.91, that on volume of 944 million shares. The Nasdaq was the biggest loser of the day, down almost 138 points, 1.84 percent, closing at 7,344.24 on very heavy volume of 2,327,000,000 shares. And certainly the S&P followed suit, down 39 points, more than 1.4 percent, closing at 2,712.92. So what was it that rattled the market? Well, news from Facebook over the weekend was hardly positive. The stock today lost more than 7% of its value. And what was the problem? The problem was a leak of information to a third party. 50 million people had personal information released to a company by Facebook. That indeed is a problem. Lots of people are saying, is Facebook really doing enough to protect its users. They're also saying, was this in any way connected to the 2016 election? Well, I'll leave that for everyone else to figure out, but certainly shares of Facebook down sharply, all the tech stocks down sharply. You may be familiar with the name FANG, as in FANG stocks. Well, F is Facebook, and I'm afraid for the day we have to give them an F. Sorry about that. Now, later this week, Thursday morning, we're going to be having a conversation with the Stearns. You're welcome to join us. All of our viewers are happy to have you. Uh, it's Thursday morning, the 22nd, Thursday of this week. Give us a call, 906-2847. Again, 906-2847. Everything is in play. The stock market, the bond market, the state of the world. We have no agenda, no handouts, just anything that our viewers would like to discuss. Come on in. We've got a beautiful conference room, and we'd be happy to try and have a great conversation. So. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> and what's the news on uh, Boeing today, Richard? Well, Scott, there are 30 stocks in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. 29 of them finished lower. Boeing had an up arrow. Mm. How do you like that? A lot of people buying planes. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Absolutely. Richard, thanks for the update. You're welcome.